hello friends today i am going to discuss http2 sftp adapter okay how to send the data from http2 sftp folders okay let me first we have one sftp server here this is the demo server here you can give the username as well as password okay once you log into this one this pop-up will come just click on ok here here we can see two folders one is upload and the second one is download when you open the upload here you could see the files okay let me just go back one step and also if you down click or double click on the download here you can see the files okay this is free demo server for the sftp as well as sf ftp okay and coming to the cpa first you need to store the credentials under the go to monitoring and security material first you can do the connectivity test okay just to go to the monitoring under manage security we have a connectivity tests okay in connectivity test here go to sh here you can give the host name as this one demo you can give this name okay and the port is double two double two and click on send okay it will reach okay let me try to another way let me give you the credentials just to go to the manage security under manage security we have a security material here you need to store the credentials let me store the credentials user credentials here demo underscore sftp you can give the username as demo and password okay once you deploy just go to the connectivity test you can copy this name demo underscore and here you can select user credentials here you can give the name okay just go back one step and go to the connectivity test here you can give the this name okay and port is double two double two and select the user credentials which you created just a few minutes back under the security material just you can give the credential name and click on send okay it will connect okay cannot access the known host okay this is the problem just you can click on none and click on send button just copy the host key just to open your notepad paste paste this one just to save as save as known underscore host here no need to give any extension just give the name and wherever you want you can save it let me save in the downloads known underscore host no need to give any extension here select all files just click on save okay once you save this one go to the security material upload known host file okay browse which you saved under downloads known host open it just click on deploy okay now go to the user credential select and click on send this is connected to the particular server okay and if you want to check the directory just check the directory we have upload okay just give the directory and click on send then it will display it will connect it to the particular folder these are the files available under the upload folder okay if you want to uh, if you want to check download as well you can check same way you can give the directory slash download and you can check here see this is the one once you given the known host file now let me create the scenario okay just create one package let me create the package here test underscore 
scenarios here you can give short description version if you want you can give the version otherwise no need to give any version here just click on save here next go to the artifact just add integration flow here let me give you the yes http underscore to underscore sftp underscore connection just click on add it okay now open this artifact and click and go to the edit mode here okay let me give you the http sender https and go to connection here you can give test slash sftp okay now let me add one content modifier here okay in, in under content modifier i am giving one expression dollar in that body okay after that i am connecting i am selecting receiver as sftp adapter sftp okay sftp go to the target here you can give the directory slash upload okay and file name file name for example cpi underscore sftp connection underscore test dot txt file for example if you want to send the any txt format just you can give the extension if you want to send the xml uh, you can give dot xml here okay and address address you can take this one you can give address as this one and here you can select the basic authentication like username and password username and password demo underscore sftp which you maintain in the demo underscore sftp which you maintain under the security material just to copy whatever name you given under the security material here here enable supported decrypted algorithms also and go to processing keep as it is okay now let me save and deploy the flow okay once this is the deploy let me go to the manage integration content here the flow is deployed once the endpoint is connected meantime let me open the postman tool okay one second let me copy the endpoint here it's not yet generated it will generate maybe it will take one or two minutes just refresh still it's not generated it will take some time to let me go back one step and reopen still it's not generated the url okay, once you refresh the endpoint will be generated like this just copy this endpoint and go to the postman tool you can give your endpoint already i maintained username and password like this one and coming to here let me give this is cpi okay here you can give text just click on send yeah 200 work okay, which means the file is created successfully just to go to your cpi flow just go to the monitoring here you can see 
HTTP to SFTP connection which is message processed successfully okay see it is completed successfully now you can go to your SFTP demo server under uploads you can see the file name which you maintain what is the file name we given in the let me check in the sftp configuration cpa underscore see this is our file if you open this file here we do not have permissions but the cpa underscore sftp connection underscore test with the timestamp it is created file see cpa underscore sftp connection underscore text dot xml if you want to send any xml file also you can give the extension as xml and you can send thank you this is the http to sftp connection if you have any doubts please ping me in the <coughs> comments section thank you please do subscribe like and subscribe my channel thank you